but maybe that wants to, you know, actually start to practice it or learn kind of the craft themselves. What would, what would be your suggestions there on either resources or just in general thoughts? I would say do what I did and get uh, win the lottery and get a great mentor. <laughs> There's nothing like a mentor. I don't know. I mean, I just think people like Richard Dennis and Bill Eckhart are rare, people who have this sort of um, free skepticism about everything and life is hard, trading is hard. You're not going to find anything that's so great. This is the way we were taught to look at things, and I think that's rare. But it's worth trying to find somebody who would take you under their wing and show you uh, and teach you what they know. And, you know, I would say that's the most important thing in any area of life is um, work hard and work for peanuts and learn next to a master over time read and understand and start crafting and creating your own philosophy of how things work and don't kid yourself it's probably always worse than you think it could possibly be and i think having that sort of attitude especially as it relates to tr- to managing and trading money is is a good attitude to have don't want to be too optimistic uh, you you may regret this because the the next day after this podcast airs, you're going to have about 100 podcast listeners at your door willing to work for free in Richmond, Richmond, Virginia, or wherever you may be at the time. So fair, fair forewarning what you asked for. Um, I do think it's great advice. You know, we get a lot of career questions from people. And I always say to the people, I say, look, do something of value. And so I, I can't tell you how many articles I get where people will just be like, Meb, email me and they'll be just like, Meb, can you tell me how you got started at, uh, and built your business? And I'm like, really? You're going to ask me to take an hour of my time and type this in and, and just give you this playbook? No. The best way you can do it is to show up and be of value. So email someone, say, is there any research projects I can work on for free or anything that I could do or or actually do something and then show it to them? Anyway, those are some good ideas. I think the mentorship is an amazing way to, to get your foot in the door. There's a great a Steve Jobs video making the rounds on the internet right now where he talks about calling up on the phone um, the founder of Hewlett Packard when he was 12 and asking if he had this part that he could buy. And the guy answered the phone at his house and he said, back then you could just look up in the white pages and call someone. And so he says, you know, the, the moral was that if you don't ask, you'll never get an answer. And so he ended up working on the assembly line at HP as, as a teenager. And so I think a lot of the same things applies where if you really make the effort, there can there can be a lot to find. And I think if you probably ran a version 2.0 of the turtle experiment today, you would probably get a, about 100,000 uh, responses anyway. It's, it's It would be a little bit different. There's actually a website that we've spoken at their conference a few times, Quantopian, that's a little more of a crowdsourced quant site. They just got a big funding from SAC, but... A couple of their most popular algorithms are actually trend-following algorithms. So Yeah, I think that um, the new Turtle 2.0 is definitely coding. So I got lucky. You know, I was, I was brought to Chicago, given a cush job, told everything I needed to know, and just do the trades. And so now it's – since I totally believe in systematic trading, that in order to help uh, add value to Chesapeake or – uh, anybody, you need to code and do some back testing and come up with your own systematic approach. That's the new, uh, that's the turtle program of the future. But you know, I, I I'm shocked that um, I mean, I don't want to rant too much, but I'm like really shocked when I meet young traders or young people in the business. They are not interested in my ideas as much as um, I was just a very quiet person in the corner, sucking it all in and listening and. And if I didn't agree with it or, and, or didn't understand it, I just stored it away and I'd come back to it. I've had that happen many times. Listen to famous traders and I said, I don't think I agree with that, but it, I don't understand it probably. And then years later, I would say to myself, oh, now I get it. Yep, I didn't really get it then. But the chances of, of me when I meet uh, young traders or people ask me, send me their resume, if I have an interaction with them, they're mostly arguing with me, telling me why I'm wrong. Huh. 